Hello, welcome everyone. I'd like to give you a little presentation about uh, the progress of the Android Mashup project. So this project is coming to an end. I'm handing in my final thesis in 10 days, so I'll show you what's what's been done. So uh, we have several pieces of software and I'll show you. The first one I want to show is the Mashup Organizer. You see it here. So the tabbed application has three in tabs. You can update the database, which is stored here. And it has several intents. And it, you can see the applications that are installed. So in general, if you want to install an application, you can read the text here. Click Install. Since this is the emulator, I'll go to Direct, because the developer, he saved the URL for the APK file, so you can download it directly. And it's downloading here. And installed Panoramio. Little text here, you can read that later. So now we have Panoramio, not much to see. Again, since it's the emulator, we don't really have location, but once I zoom out here a little bit, I should be able. Oh, yes, we're down in Africa should be able to go over here okay so this is the regular Panoramio application which I enhanced a little bit we have this button here so let's see so this is the functionality you'll see some pictures here that are in this map let's go back so there is no apps installed so we're starting the organizer so we need another app to show you what what's possible so let's install another one. Okay. Let's go back to the organizer. Okay. Panoramio again. Probably went to uh, the south of Africa. Let's see. Okay, but now, since we have another app installed, okay, now we have it installed. We go again, we go back, and we can open phone, open phone apps. Another application, again, and uh, we should see the same screen. Yes, and here we are. Same screen we can zoom in this is actually open street map material now so not 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 google maps so completely other software uh, we can zoom into my neighborhood here to give you an idea what's the purpose of this application let's see let's find some phone spots here works really nice I did I programmed this piece of software to show you the things that are possible so let's see yeah so we have phone spots and we can again go back to Panoramio and since we zoomed in with open phone maps we zoomed in here as well so let's go here and click preferences which opens the organizer again and let's see let's install the mashup radar Again, direct. Uh, once it is, this is doing. I'll install the phone maps. Let's see. Okay, while this is done, we downloaded the radar and in the background, I used the terminal to install something on here. So the radar, okay, actually the radar is not an application that you can install, but okay, let's go back to open phone maps. 
Okay. And now what we can do, we can actually click on one of these spots and it will start the radar, but since we don't really have a, a GPS on this emulator, we can't really see anything, but what we could do, we can go back from here and use another mashup, which is called the GeoPoint mashup, and it only saves the coordinates and it centers the map right on the coordinate with a default zoom value. When I switch in between these applications, this is the map mashup, and it will keep all the properties of the map. So it's really smooth. And let's go back to the organizer, because since we installed the new application, here you see it found the new application. Sometimes you have to update, update the database. You can also see some information here or directly deinstall it with long clicking, but we don't want to do that right now. So let's go back to open phone maps and let's see oh there's phone maps the original phone maps and this should open phone maps now with the same screen coordinates yes so we can find phone spots here which doesn't really make sense because both pieces of software have the same functionality but just to show you we can switch in between these applications seamlessly and zoom around switch again of course, if you imagine you have more applications like that, like Flickr, and usually what you would have to do, you go to the home screen, find the other application, open it. Okay, this worked. But then you go to another application, and what's this doing now? Oh, damn it. So this application originally always centers on Madrid when it starts up. So when I go here now, I'm in Madrid, and I can actually use some of the functionality. I can use my location, but again, since this doesn't have GPS, it doesn't really work. So this is about the applications. So it's the applications are there. I'm hoping that there will be some developers adopting this feature. It's really easy to adopt. So this is AndroidMashup.org. There's also a blog, and you can see the source code. Okay, let's wait until this is done. And what you can do, as a developer for instance, you can go to the mashup definitions and you can see what kind of mashups I thought about. So we have here the map point we just talked about and this is something for you to copy and paste into your manifest file as a developer. If you want to generate an intent that works with this mashup, you use this one. And if you want to retrieve uh, and you tend you use this code so this is generated for you on the website very convenient and you have the map view and there's some description missing but in general there should be everything explained here and again you've got all these code snippets that you can use and I've made up some other mashup functionality features for the future but they're not implemented in any software yet but uh, you can imagine what's going on here and you can also see what applications have registers already. So right now it's only the software I showed you. It's phone maps, mashup radar, mashup panorama. You can also find it in the market if you search for mashup. And if you wanna if you wanna know everything about everything, you go on the blog, mashup on Android, it's blog.androidmashup.org. Or you can have a look at the source codes at androidmashup.googlecode.com or code.google.com slash p slash androidmashup. So this is about it. I hope you enjoyed the little presentation and download the software, test it, give me feedback. If you want to give me feedback, there is a contact form here on the blog and the link is also on the website. Write me an email. Uh, love to hear from you.